In 1900, George W. Mayhew, who was owner-editor of the Northern Territory Times, wrote Notes on a Visit to Wyndham in a series of articles published over several issues. George was heading out to Rosewood Station, owned by his brother-in-law, Tom Kilfoyle. Mayhew was being conveyed from Wyndham to Rosewood in a buggy driven by Patsy Durack. Very likely in one of the buggies seen in this photograph. Here is an extract describing part of his 1899 journey. Two days from Wyndham, we camped at what is called the Stud, being a station on which Connor, Doherty and Durack run a herd of high-bred stock. I was shown two bulls which had come all the way from Cornwall and cost a nice penny landed in Wyndham. Their pedigree goes back to somewhere about the time of the Roman invasion. There is also a trial lot of Angora goats at the stud, imported some nine or ten months ago from the eastern colonies. A few minutes drive from the homestead lands you at the crossing of the Ord, and a more treacherous place to ford over can hardly be conceived. When the rains are not on the bed of, the river is dry. And even then, you have to go up one side a hundred yards or so, then cross to the other side at an angle that takes you out exactly opposite where you went in. The road in and the road out face each other, so that when the river is running, the traveller, ignorant of its peculiarity, might suppose the track to be straight across. The last man who thought this is buried somewhere on the bank. A warning notice on each bank is greatly needed. When in flood, the ord is a sight worth seeing. Running a banker in full flood has not been seen since before 1970, as since then water has been conserved by construction of the Ord River Dam, so a sight we're likely to never see again. transport started to replace the horse and buggy, crossing the Ord by motor car presented new challenges. A grant of £1,800 in December 1925 saw the first concrete crossing constructed during the next three years. Ivanhoe Crossing was still under construction during a visit by the Governor William Campion in 1927. Wyndham started in 1886 and it would be more than 40 years before the first concrete crossing was complete in 1928. at Ivanhoe was built over a basalt rock bar, whereas the Ord River Diversion Dam is anchored to a quartzite rock bar. You may well have noticed by now that there were no bollards or curbing crossing, which serviced the region from 1928 until 1953. In the dry 
dry seasons of 1952 and 1953, the present day crossing was constructed mostly following and directly over the original crossing when it was raised by over a metre. But that is another history.